Nathan, we are talking flag etiquette, and you are our guy, thanks to uh, both your naval service, mm -hmm. but also as an Eagle Scout within the Boy Scouts. I've had a lot of training over the years, a lot of training on flag etiquette, so I know a little bit about it. Actually, my Eagle Scout project was based around the flag itself. I had a local cemetery, and I wanted to update the veterans database from paper to electronic, oh, and in doing so, we found some graves that weren't marked properly, huh. so the American Legion supplied these new markers. Right. And you place it right at the grave, and then we have these cemetery flags we uh, upgraded as well. So they could be appropriately um, honored on Veterans Day. Exactly. Okay, cool. So there are rules, um, and you guys in the military certainly have to follow those rules. Absolutely. There's a set of guidelines. Uh, the military likes it, Boy Scouts, American Legion follows them. Mm -hmm. It is a set of guidelines. Civilians aren't required to follow it but it's a great set of guidelines to follow because there's a lot of good information in there. All right, so give us some of the rules that we should be thinking about. You know, a lot of people like to display flags on their houses. Good, good place to start is an all-weather flag, yeah. something synthetic that's gonna stand up to the rain and the wind. Gotcha. Um, if you wanna display it at night, keep it lit. Um, over time, if your flag becomes tattered and worn and you need to retire it, um, the best way to is burn it, incinerate it, start with the Union, the blue field. Wait, so this up here, this corner right here, this is called the Union? This is the Union right here. So uh, once you incinerate that, it's no longer a flag. Gotcha. If you don't feel comfortable doing that, you can bring it to the American Legion or the Boy Scouts and they'll cool. do it for you. Okay. The Union being blue and white currently has 50 stars because we have 50 states. 50 states. If they ever added another one, they would add a star. If they ever added another state, they would add a star the next 4th of July following. So not until the 4th of July would we change the flag? Yeah, I don't, know if, cool. I don't know if that's going to happen, though. I did not know that. All so right. displaying the flag, some people like to hang it up horizontally, horizontally or vertically. This orientation horizontally. Uh, best way to do that is keep the union in the top left. Okay, so union up there. Now, if you're going to hang it this way, again, again, top left. Oh, interesting. Proper way to display it. So that's proper, and if you hung it this way off, say, your upper deck, that would be inappropriate. Inappropriate, yep. Gotcha. All right, so those are some of the rules, regs. Uh, and as you say, civilians don't have to necessarily follow those rules, but it is a great way to show respect for the flag to it try is. to adhere to them. It is. All right. In terms of just practically getting them up on the house, because a lot of us have got something like this, you yes. know, where it comes with the pole and the bracket. These kits are a great place to start. You got a bracket, the pole, the flag, everything you need to hang it up. Yep. Um, these kits are, you can only have it in two different angles. I actually like a bracket like this that you can okay. adjust with a wing nut. Yep. So you can get just the right pitch. So if you unscrew this, this goes either way. Yeah. All and right. uh, outside the front door, a lot of people have overhangs, so you might need to avoid that. You don't want the flag brushing up against it. If you need to get out into the body a little bit, you can get one of these surface mounted blocks that fits into some clapboard. Interesting. You can mount that right anywhere you need to. Okay. And then mount the bracket to that. Let's uh, let's mount it up here. Let's yep. see how we do right there. We'll hold that. So it's got a little center hole right away. Yep. Okay. You want me to locate this guy? Yeah. Let's place it up there. All right. So I'll try to center that. I'm gonna pile it first. Yeah. Move it on you and screw you up. And it's good to remember when mounting this bracket that it's going to see a lot of high winds. So you want to go through that block into the sheathing and really drive those screws in. All right, Kevin, can you hear me the flag? I can. There she is. All right, we'll tuck that right in and tighten up this nut on the side. Nice. Nice and secure. Good angle. She's hanging properly and yep. proud. Good, good. Thank you, Nathan. You're welcome. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.